Welcome, Wolf and Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant A Plague Tale Requiem on the PlayStation 5. And we are playing through this game on hard mode. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in a previous video, we made our way back to the map in Lacuna. We then broke it open by pushing over a pillar and we've now descended into this massive underground temple that the Order built to contain Basilius, the first carrier. Now after making our way through the temple, we've discovered that Aelia managed to escape from the chapel where we thought she died and she has been kicking the absolute hell out of all of the Order guards trying to rescue Basilius, but unfortunately just at the end of the previous video, in the room we are currently in right now, we discovered that Aelia was killed and she wasn't able to rescue Basilius. So we're now pushing forward and we're hoping to find out what happened to Basilius and, as always, maybe some information that can help Hugo, so on and so forth. But we're now at a giant door and we need to get this door open, but it will be very easy to do. So let's get straight into things. Also, there might be a souvenir in this area or possibly another feather, so we'll grab that as well. But let's get into things. But Hugo really doesn't want to be here. He wants to go home for obvious reasons. Hey there. I hope I'll have more luck than you. Now look how she died, literally all of the guards around her, and she still managed to kill a bunch of them. What an absolute beast. At least she had some armor. People are operating this door. I need to go back to it. No, we don't. We need to open up this chest and get some fat loot first. And we also need to grab a souvenir, possibly. Priorities, Amicia, priorities. Right, I think over here somewhere, I think there's a maybe a souvenir. Take care of it, Hugo. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thanks, little guy. Look. Children's clothes. Toys. Basilius. They're his. This doesn't look like a playroom, though. They took them away from him. It means he's close. Somewhere beyond that door. One hell of a door for a child. Not just any child. We'll see. Let's go back to that door. A child with a lot of powers. Alright, so basically, um, how this door works, those, um, those levers right there, they pull the beams across, and that lever over there, that will um, lock them in place. But you then need to try and keep these still because if you let go, then uh, the lock will come out and they will slide back over. So I think we need to do this one on this side first. But I think you need all three characters to get these doors open. A cart? What's it doing here? I need your help, Sophia. My pleasure. attached to it. It must be for something. You can stop now. Consider it done. Okay, right. So, first things first, Sophia, you're going to need to pull this across. Sophia, can I count on you? All right. And I don't think, Hugo, I don't think you're going to need to hold that lever. This one opens the top and bottom bars. Yeah, I don't think uh, Hugo has to grab that one. Came out of the ground. Is that a crank? I think so. Yeah, don't worry about the crank just yet, Amicia. Jesus Christ, we've got another bunch of things to do first. Convenient, there's a bunch of rope on this lever. It works. One bar done. Now for the rest. There you go. Now they're locked in place. You can let go now. My pleasure. Lovely. All right, Hugo, little man, you're going to have to help us out with this one. So first things first. Sophia, can you take care of it? Consider it done. <laughs> Consider it done. All right, go on, little guy. I'll let you do it, Hugo. All right. <laughs> I love Hugo's voice so much. 
Give the voice actor for Hugo a raise. We can let go. That ground lever looks fully out now. Let's give it a try. Keep holding, Hugo. It's working. Yes, this is happening. Oh. <laughs> What's that smell? It should be open. We can still close it. No, we'll find Basilius. Oh, goodness. I don't like what I see in there. It's going to be a good deep pup. We can still leave Amicia. No, no, no. We'll pass that door all together. We're here. If you want to go back, Sophia, now is the time. <laughs> Let's go. I want to go back. Please, Hugo. Man, why don't you listen to Hugo, Amicia? Fuck me, she really, really aggravates me. Man, he knows things that you don't know. He feels things that you can't feel, Amicia. You're bloody obsessed. Obsessed. It's, it's understandable, like I said. I said this in the previous video. She wants to save her little brother. You know, I would do the same stuff for my sister. You know? I'd go to the ends of the earth to save my sister. My sister's Chunky Lappy, if you didn't know. Let her know in the comments that she's a fucking legend. But, um, yeah, I'd do the same for my sister. But, um, she, oh, in this situation, you've got to listen to Hugo. If she had some random ability to hear rats and feel this macular taking over her body and things that were affecting it and making it worse, you know... I wouldn't understand, so I'd have to listen to her, because she knows, I don't. But Amicia don't listen. <laughs> I know it's just a game, but Jesus. you got to listen. Oh. Oh. What are we breathing? Rats, there's... But the air is much thicker. It's been there a long time. Since Basilius? I think so. Oh, I feel... funny. Your head? There's noise. Courage. There's gonna be a big ass rat's nest then if it's been here since Basilius was here. Basilius was the first carrier. So I don't know how long ago he was uh, here. What Put is that? This is not welcoming. Mm. I don't Let's know how see. long ago he was brought here, but they've had a long time to build a nest. Look at the size of it. God damn. That's bigger than the first game. All right, we need to make a bridge. That did something. Definitely. Prepare to run, just in case. Oh, don't worry, Sophia. I'm always prepared to run in this game. You have seen the amount of rats around? It's a bridge. This place is a goddamn underground fortress. Let's keep going. It seems to go all the way. But there's a missing piece. Oh, yes. Look, here. There's a way down. Well, it's deep, but bright. Yeah, this is the place that you're going to need that knife I mentioned in the previous video. If you're trying to find the knife to open up this uh, our upcoming uh, toolbox chest, workbench chest, whatever you want to call it, uh, watch the previous video and I'll show you where to get the knife. It could work. I'll try first. Be careful. Oh damn it! See, I told you I was always prepared to ready to run. <laughs> Are you all right? Nothing broken. No, just a bit shaken up. But now we know that was a bad idea. How do you come back? I'll look around and see what I can do. Wait for me. Take care. Yes. Well, obviously. No. I going to get back? Wait, those chains, counterweights, they left the bridge pieces. What's round here? Oh, but it literally led to the same place. Okay. <laughs> right, so we've got to break the counterweights so that we can uh, bring up the bits of bridge. Okay. I mean, we have to do this anyway to carry on. Hey, I don't know what you did, but it worked. 
worked. It's those chains. They handle the bridge. All right, just don't break the wrong one, otherwise you're going to kill them both. That secret, I'm gonna tell everybody, Sophia. Guess what, Wolf Morpets? Sophia's terrified. Don't tell anyone though. <laughs> okay, I think this is what we're supposed to do. And we can grab this, uh, we can grab the bolt back after as well. I like the puzzles in this game, they are very clever, some of them. Oh, my, hang a minute. She's walking quick. It's a miracle. She never walked quick. <laughs> ah. It's a goddamn miracle. That's the first time you've ever walked quick with one of those flipping torches. You always walk really slow. I know you've normally got Hugo with you, but still. How are you doing? Just perfect. I feel surrounded. Don't get too used to it. All right, the uh, tool. You're safe. For now. I told you she'd do it. The tool chest is uh, up here, I think. Oh yeah, there it is on the other side over there. What was round here? Just saw something then. Ah, oh, a packet of resources. Lovely, jubbly. Oh, and lovely. Some uh, epi epi sanguis or whatever it's bloody called. Epi sanguis. Trying to trying to think how Lucas says it. Man, we ain't seen Lucas in ages. If we had Lucas with us, all of this would be ten times easier. Man, even with me being able to hold double the amount of resources, we've got full bags. We've been doing very good looting the chests, finding all the chests and stuff. We've been doing a very good job. probably are wrong Amicia. you've been wrong constantly in this game to be honest but this is uh once again another chest to open you want to get the explorer trophy this is what you need to open and you need to find a knife but i recommend playing through the game on easy if you want to get this trophy because you find way more knives than you do on hard on hard you miss one knife that's it you ain't opening up these chests they're weird it's like is it a chest or a workbench what do you call it because it's like a chest Oh, no crossbow bolts in this one. What a rip-off. Can I, uh, have I got enough for that other skill yet? Oh, yeah, I have. Oh, sweet. We ain't got to. Oh, man, the game's about to become so much easier. Better. <laughs> Look at that. There we go. I'm playing on my second account, if you're wondering why I'm still getting trophies. My main account is Davum, D-A-V-U-M, the one that's at the end of the uh, video. And my YouTube one for, for playthroughs is obviously Beowulf the Wolf. Because I said I've already platinum the game, and you might be thinking, hey, is he lying to us? No, I'm not lying to you. I've got a lot of platinums. Because for me, a game is not finished until I have the platinum, even if it requires a lot of skill or time. I've got to platinum it before I can move on. I have to. <laughs> I really have to. And then I get my full money's worth from the game, you know. That's why I platinum games, because I feel like I've got my full money's worth. Keep going. You'll make it. Of course I will. I'll make all this worth it, Hugo. No, I will. I will do it. Well, she means it, boy. Trust her. Come on, Basilius. Give us something. He's worth it. I promise. I beg you. I love Aris said. I know you want to. <laughs> like, yeah, you know. We'll get the hint, Amicia. Get the fucking hint. <gasps> Damn wreck. Hey, you're stuck, right? Yes. Can't go further with my cart. Go around the wreck. We have something for you. 
I'm guessing that's for using a crossbow bolt right there, that wood, but we don't need to do that. We've got some tar. It's probably in case you don't have any. Shame it didn't roll all the way to the wreck. Alright, cover your ears, Wolf and Wolfettes. You know these flipping explosions are bloody loud. You're being very, very, very presumptuous, you are, uh, Misia. What's that over there? Is that a bag of resources? I'm not going to bother going over there just to get that. I've got the upgrade I want. Upgrading a sling to rank three will be good, though. I know. I wasn't scared. I can attest to that. <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit, Hugo. There's nothing wrong with being afraid, little guy. <laughs> So, so much, so much for I wasn't terrified. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, Hugo. I'm sad. I'm scared, Amicia. I know. We've been through a lot. But it's like, like it's not my mind. Like you're feeling sad for someone Is else. The serious is. Maybe. It's really heavy. I'm scared. Guess that means we're getting close. So you're feeling Basilius' pain. That's what I'm saying. Hugo feels stuff that Amicia don't understand. So she should be listening to him. Shouldn't be putting him through this. Should have left him back at the Count and Countess's. Well, actually, no, you probably shouldn't have. But you could have left him there with Sophia and you could have done this on your own, Amicia. The end of the bridge. Time to see where this leads. Oh, that smell. It's suffocating. Oh, oh it's wrong. So Looks like the mist. Looks like we're about to What's do a Demon on? Souls boss fight. Amicia, I don't want to. But we have to. We have to. Hmm. This is looking demonic, ain't it? Very demonic. So it don't look like a boss fight room from Demon Souls with all that mist. It looks bad. Lord, it feels like a, a cathedral. They built this for him. So, he's down there? Yes, at the heart of all this. It looks like what the last threshold would do. Aelia failed to reach him, and this is what happened. But what? What happened? And what happened to him? I don't want to know. You have to. He brought you here. It's your legacy. I don't want a legacy. I want to be normal. Man, the soundtrack in this game is... You know, before we get things back to normal, you must live. You want that, but I keep ruining things. But you don't do it on purpose. You're... you're a child. There were children in the Red City too! It's tough, Hugo. 
We don't know each other very well, but I know you deserve a second chance. Even if we have to find it in hell. Yes. Look at that on the wall. Looks like giant slugs. We really are going to hell. We keep walking, we're gonna end up in China. I, I can't. Alicia. Sophia. Sweetheart, please, I know. No, you don't. Why are you doing this? Amicia, come, I'll carry you. We'll do this together. This is too much. I'm sorry you have to go through this. I do it for you. I want rest. You'll have it. But you must live first. I need you. I'm scared of myself, Stop. Alicia. You will live. We will fight. We will part. They built all this. They were always afraid. They left the child to die. He unleashed the rats. They tore through their walls. They couldn't stop them. It started here. What? The Justinian plague. He was sad. So sad and angry. So that's why the macula brought us here? Oh, there, there has to be something. A scroll? A file? Oh, something. I see nothing. Aya, she failed. Amicia. She failed, Sophia. I know. So when I die, you won't die. I will also kill them all. No, Hugo. He wasn't meant to die. When they took him from his protector, he lost hope. So he gave in to the macula and condemned them all. He was right. No, but if one word from her had reached him, he would have known he wasn't alone. He would have lived and spared millions. Do you understand? You won't die. I'm here for you. And I will give you the life you deserve. A life without fight. Do you want that? Let's find ourselves a home. I don't think they agree. What's going on? We must go. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, man. I, I, 
can see that huge dog. Oh god. No pain, no gain, Hugo. No one likes leg day, but you can do it, buddy. lured you in. The macula really has a way with children. They put chains on him. Yes, but you'll live. That's what's most important. That's not what's most important. I'm scared to think people are that bad. I'm scared of what they'll make me do. You're right. Listen. There will always be people who do terrible things. That's how the world is. But you have to trust in your own goodness and goodness of others. People who care, who want you to be happy. Friends. Like me. Friends make you want to be good, right? If you doubt it, I understand. But you can trust me. You can trust us. I trust you. We'll find a place of our own. Let's leave this island. We have a boat to catch, and a sea of rats to cross first. They won't stop us. Everything is different. Everything ain't different, everything's horrible. What are you talking about, Amicia? We came this way to find a cure, and we found worse stuff. The life we deserve, chapter 12. It was lured there by his disease. Man, poor Hugo. Things are not getting better. Although it seems they figured the critters out already. Others did before and died anyway. It's too late. We must go. But... It's not just about this island anymore, Hugo. We need to leave or we'll doom everything. Okay. Um. Oh, there's gonna be. Right. I'm not gonna. I, I think I can end it before. There's gonna be a very big cutscene in a minute. So uh, I think I'll end the video before that triggers. Hopefully. Mind the drop. All right. Oh. He's dead. Oh, he's the guy that mentioned about me chasing gold. Saying that I should be chasing gold, not stone birds or whatever it was. Ah, oh. oh, that's no a shame. Choice. Sorry. Yes. Sorry. Come, we'll cross. Good. Now we do things safe and slow. No taking stupid risks. Hugo, if you feel funny, tell us right away. I will. Can't wait to leave this rock. All right, the harbor, come. Hey, my lady! 
What is it now? You're the Countess's guests, aren't you? Are you hurt? No. We have orders to escort you safely to the palace. Actually, we were about to leave. You have guests. Guests? Who? Your mother and a boy. Oh, of course. Do you think she's going to scold us? I don't know. I... We should go see her. It's been a long time. Yes. We can't run away from this, I guess. Well, look at the two of you. Only a mum can have such power over someone. All right. You know what? I'll head to the harbor and prepare the boat. You join me as soon as you can. Take this. Whatever happens, keep this flame alive, all right? Yes. Be careful. Don't worry. I've learned from both of you. Keep the flame alive. Of course she, she knows that. What's the matter with you and Misia? She's not an idiot. She's been with us the whole of this time. What will we tell her? The truth. We found what we came for. And I'm the one to blame. I'll defend you. My hero. Hurry! Move before they come back! Alright, I'm going to have to end the video now, Wolf Morvet. So sorry to end it in a spot like this, because you're probably hoping to see how our mother's going to react when she sees us and all that good stuff. But you've only got to wait till tomorrow. You ain't got to wait long. So anyway, thanks for watching, Wolf Morvet. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, video. It was uh, a somewhat sad one, but we didn't really have a chance to be sad, because uh, then we got chased by 10 billion rats. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, Wolf Morvet. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today.